What's up guys, what's going on? It's Dread and I'm back with another video. We're on Madden 22 and today I got something that is a little different. I don't really know if I actually expect this one to happen, but there's a ton of drama around this Raiders team right now and there's a ton of drama around Odell Beckham Jr. right now. Uh, Odell's dad posted a video of all the times Baker's missed him when he's been wide open and um, the next day Odell suddenly is excused from practice for pretty much no reason as far as everybody knows he showed up expecting to practice or should have been practicing and uh, he was excused from it it all seems really weird it doesn't make sense to me I don't know what's gonna happen I don't know if he's gonna get bought out I don't know what's going down there but it certainly seems like the Browns are not in the in his future I mean uh, I think Stefanski said uh, Stefanski said Odell is not or he told players that basically Odell isn't on the roster right now even though he is um, so obviously they're not expecting to have him I don't know what's up with that um, the Raiders obviously horrible stuff happened with Henry Ruggs all of that Ruggs is gone they need another receiver um, it makes sense right it does I've seen Beckham rumored to go to the Raiders if uh, if he does get cut I think it makes sense. I think it makes sense for both teams. I think it'd be a lot of fun. I really love Odell. I like the Raiders. I like Derek Carr. I think they have some really good playmakers here that could excel. And I think if Odell was there to help open up the field too, that could be a really good fit. So we're going to hop into Madden. We're going to play a season. Hopefully we make the playoffs. If we don't, we're going to try to fix this team. If we can't fix the team, then uh, tough. But hopefully in the first two seasons, we'll make the Super Bowl. We'll play it out and we'll win. I do think it's possible. This team's really good. and Got a lot of playmakers on offense with Odell in there. On defense, we have some stud guys. I love Max Crosby. I love uh, Ngakwe. Both those guys are good on the line. Moreg, young, talented safety. I like that. Uh, Casey Hayward, Trayvon Mullen, they can get it done. Damon Arnett, the rookie. And Hobbs, or Arnett was a rookie last year. Oh, Arnett was a rookie last year, right? Yeah, Arnett was a rookie last year, not this year. Yes. Uh, Hobbs is the rookie this year. He's been playing good. We're gonna get them all playing time. I like this team We're gonna hop into the first season. Let's see if we can make the playoffs and uh, let's go from there. Let's get it guys All right, first season is done and we are 12 and 5. 12 and 5 is honestly really really good. I think that's Honestly pretty pro probably pretty realistic too, especially if they got Odell. I really like that move 27 touchdowns for the running backs That's phenomenal solid year from Odell great year from Waller I think all of this looks relatively realistic. Brian Edwards down there put up 629 and 6. That's solid. Defensively, KJ Wright, solid year. Nick Kwiatkowski, Kwiatkowski, Kwiat, 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 Kwiat. not even going to try. Uh, Jonathan Abram, solid, solid year. Our rookie, not too bad. Uh, defensive line looks like it really underperformed. Yeah, really, really underperformed. Uh, but oh well, I mean, we're in, the, we're in the playoffs still and we have a really good record. We're gonna upgrade players. We're gonna start, uh, we have a first round bye, so we're gonna upgrade players and get into the divisional round. Let's go. All right, and look who we have in the divisional. We have the Cleveland Browns. We get the win, no way. We get the win. It's a really close competitive game, 30-24, but we do pick up the win. We're gonna upgrade players and get into the next game now. All right, we're playing the Bills. Not gonna be easy. Oh my god, maybe it was easy. What the heck? 38 to 7. Huge win, and we are in the Super Bowl. Just like that. It really did just take one player. I mean, hey, maybe the Raiders get there even without them this year. They're certainly looking good. We're just gonna auto upgrade and hop into this game because I want to get into it. Uh yeah, I'll see you guys in. Let's go. Alright, we are hopping into the game. I'm honestly pretty excited to play this one. I really like this uh, this Raiders offense with all these different playmakers. We're just going to play offense because it's supposed to be all about Odell. Um, and I guess this offense in general after Ruggs and John Gruden go, even though John Gruden's still there, ignore him. Um, I really like this team that we have now, though. With uh, Josh Jacobs, I still think he's solid. I know a lot of people like to hate on Jacobs. I think he can get the job done. Waller is, in my opinion, an absolute beast of a tight end. Uh, Odell is a phenomenal wide receiver, in my opinion. I really like this squad, and I really think it's totally possible that these moves could happen. Um, it is, again, it's all possibilities. What a throw from Carr right there. First throw of the game, beautiful pass to Brian Edwards, 19 yards downfield. Good, good play. Um, but I really do like this team. I love Renfro. I just, I 
think they have a ton of talent. Um, the offensive line is definitely, I think, a bit of a work in progress at this point. It is younger now than it was, definitely younger. Um, they moved on from a ton of talented, talented players that I was quite honestly shocked to see them move on from. But I think they, uh, I think they figured out how to make it decent still. It's not, it's not great, that is for sure. Um, it's not what, uh, not what it once was, but I still like it. I still like it. I think it's gonna get better and better too. I think if someone like Alex Leatherwood can improve even more, it'll be, uh, it'll be a really good team. Carr is still playing good football at quarterback too. That's a huge note. I mean, Carr is playing some of the best football of his career, honestly. Um, and that's, that's, I think, really, really big. But let's see what we can do here. Can we get in the end zone? Let's go take it the top off. Odell Beckham is not going to get his feet in bounds. That's the play he's got to make. He has got to make that one for us. Uh, Could have gone to Waller maybe there too. I just uh, I want to I wanna get Odell involved. I want to get my mans involved. He should get separation here. I don't know who that is covering him. Is that a Debo? It's, it's Roby. Roby, Roby. Okay, I forgot Roby went here uh, to the Steelers. Steelers, the Saints. Um, but... He's not gonna not gonna make an impact on that play. We get a big pickup right there to Odell Beckham Jr. Um, and right there on the next play, Kenyon Drake takes it in from 11 yards out. That's an easy first touchdown. Great drive right there. Good running. Good passing. Flawless drive. Honestly, I loved what I'm gonna see. What I'm seeing there. Defense, come on, go out, make a stand. They are going to. They are going to. Wow, they had them all the way backed up to fourth and 20. And 27 seconds left in the first, and we're getting the ball back just like that. We're going to try to pound the rock a little bit here with Kenyon Drake. And uh, Demario Davis blows that play up. Nothing going there, but that's okay. We're, uh, we're going to be able to recover right here. I would love this play. Ooh, we might have time to get it off. Let's get down, Carr, and let's get set, and let's go. And we do get it off, and Darren Waller's going to be open here. <laughs> it had to be a perfect throw, but it was right over Demario Davis's head. And that is a first down Raiders, baby. So what do you guys think about everything that's been going on surrounding this Raiders team? They're just, uh, there seems to be so much drama. I don't know who's to blame for that. I mean, obviously Gruden making his mistakes back, what, like 10 years ago. That's all on him. Um, everything that happened with Ruggs. I don't even know what to say about that, man. It's that's just sad stuff. Like that's really all there is to it. Man's decided to end his career, just to drink some alcohol and drive. Like that's tough. Putting all those people in danger. I mean, his girlfriend is like he's he's putting his own girlfriend in danger doing stuff like that. It's just crazy to me. Uh, it's awful. Um, he's gonna go to jail, I assume, for a very long time, and his career in the NFL is, I assume, over. And that is probably the uh, the right thing. It's really sad to see that though, it really is. Uh, I think he was a fun player. When he made big plays, they were <laughs> very, very fun plays to watch. We'll put it that way. So it's, it is sad to see him go, but uh, he, there's no no place for, place for someone doing those types of things in professional sports. So I don't know what the Raiders are gonna do if they don't go out and get some help. They only have what, Renfro, Edwards, and uh, I think Zay Jones left on the roster. I believe that's it. That's pretty crazy. That's not uh, not many people. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what they'll do going into into Sunday's game this week if they don't get someone in there. I don't know if Odell is going to be up for grabs. I don't know how that all works because um, obviously the trade deadline has passed. Brian Edwards is. Oh ooh, no, he's not. I never saw Roby. What the heck? He blended in perfectly to the end zone. I had no idea he was there. I literally thought that was just like home free. Never saw him. That's whack. Um, all right, we just threw an interception, but we're gonna get the ball right back. We got a little bit of time here. We got a little bit of time here. Uh, but yeah, Raiders fans, if Odell does somehow become available, if he's cut, if I don't know, if something like that happens, do you guys want to go out and get someone like that, man? Um, ooh, geez, big hit from Cameron Jordan. Big time hit from Cameron Jordan. That's scary. That puts us back. We gotta, we gotta make a play here. Got to get off the goal line. Let's go, Odell. Come on. I'm looking for you. I'm looking for you. We're going to get outside. We're going to dump it off the Waller. we got to play it safe. Could have tried to fit that in there. Might have been able to. We're going to play it safe, and we're going to run it down to the, uh, the the second half. I think that's the right thing to do. Um, we'll see what we can do here. Waller's having a good start to the day. Three catches, 36 yards. And uh, they're going to call their timeout. We're going to let them. We don't care. 
Uh, they they can try, but they're not gonna be able to not gonna be able to do anything here. Um, but yeah, do you guys are you guys interested in Odell? I think uh, I think he'd be a good fit. He's a good deep ball receiver, and Carr has a heck of a deep ball. I think I think he can throw deep really really well. He's obviously got a big arm. Uh, we're on defense. I gotta let the defense do their thing. And they're going to. We get the ball back just like that. But I do really think it'd be a good fit. He'd have uh, he'd have Hunter Renfro going underneath, Waller working the seams and stuff, and Odell on the outside. I think that's great. I think that's a really solid fit. Um, I obviously don't know what they'll actually choose to do. Carr's getting loose there. He's going to pick up almost 20. Um, I don't know what the Raiders will choose to do, and I really don't understand what's going on with Odell and the Browns. Like, I, I mean, Odell's a great player. I actually honestly like Mayfield as a quarterback a lot. Um, Odell is this okay? I, I always have to preface this whenever I talk about Odell. He's like my, my favorite player ever. I love Odell. I was a, I'm a Giants fan, so watching him, he was he was my favorite. He still is my favorite. Obviously, it's hard to see him on another team for me, but that's not important. I think Odell is extremely talented. Still, I think that man can absolutely get the job done. You see it. He gets open on those deep routes. Mayfield misses them. I don't know why that is, because Mayfield can throw a nice deep ball. He can hit people in stride. He does it. I've seen him do it. But for whatever reason, it does seem like when Odell's on the field, Mayfield is worse. And it just doesn't make s Oh, no, no, no. That one was a bad read. That was a bad read. <laughs> Dang it. Um, it really doesn't make sense to me, though, because I really do see Mayfield as a good quarterback, and I see Odell as a good receiver still. But there's clearly something wrong with this team. And I don't know what that is. Um, I have no idea what everything that's happened in the last couple days is supposed to mean. I don't know if uh, him saying that Odell... That was just an ugly throw. Renfro... Or not Renfro. Edwards had separation. If, uh, if Carr had actually just let him downfield, we would have had that. That was a good play by Lattimore too. But uh, I tried to push it upfield and Carr did not put it on the money for us there. We're going to be down now. That's three interceptions. That's not good. we got to find our man Odell. He, we haven't been going to him and all of a sudden we're getting picked off. Um... I don't know what's going on with Browns and uh, Odell. It's not good, obviously. Obviously, Odell's dad coming out and saying that stuff. You just don't do that. You just don't do it. Um, I understand his frustrations there, of course. He's seeing his boy getting open, making what should be big plays, and his quarterback's not not even giving him a chance. Uh, that's, that's frustrating. And he obviously sees... Oh, my God, Marshawn. Chill, bro. He obviously sees his son getting torn apart by the media and stuff like that, too, and that's got to be tough. But... You still just can't come out and say that. You can't come out and blame a teammate for stuff, even if it is their fault. And are we going to get the call here? We might get the call. I think we are. We are. That is jeez, but we'll take it. We'll take it. That's a huge penalty right there. That's going to help us out so much. We can score here now, and uh, we can go get ourselves right back in this game. Lead it inside. Perfect throw from Carr. But great play by Demario Davis, too. That's the first really good throw from Carr in a minute. Uh, we need more of that out of him, for sure. Let's see if we can get Odell on the corner here. Um, but, yeah, so I just... What do you guys think is going to go down with Odell and the Browns? It, Oh, no. It obviously seems like something is seriously wrong with those two. I don't know what that is. I just... I don't... I don't know what's going on, obviously. Um, I'm... Uh, I'm... Somewhat in shock seeing it all, I feel like. I feel like Odell should be really happy there. Oh, Renfro. Oh my god, Lattimore caught up. Man. The amount of separation that Renfro had there and Lattimore completely closed the gap. That is insane. I mean, it wasn't where I wanted the ball to go again, but there is no chance that Lattimore should be making that play. <sighs> This is an ugly day. It's an ugly day. I'm talking too much. See, when I do this, when I have a lot to talk about in my videos, I uh, totally get sidetracked and totally end up actually... I totally end up playing worse. It's definitely a thing. I definitely do it all the time, and I'm aware I do it. So I try to cut back on it sometimes, and it just makes the videos cringy when I'm not talking, you know? You know? Uh, so, got to focus on the game. Got to find that balance. Josh Jacobs... Only going to pick us up two there. It looked like he had a bigger gap than he uh, he actually did. We, oh man, what play do I run? We might go to Jacobs here. He's going to be open. Nice snag, Jacobs. First down, two-minute warning, three timeouts left. 
we're looking good. We got plenty of time to make something happen here. We got 85 yards to go, I think, something like that. They have all the momentum in the world. It's time to go out and prove all the doubters wrong. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Just win, please. Uh, what has Kenyon Drake got for us here? He's got a nice, crispy route. He's wide open, 20 yards downfield. Good pickup right there on first down. We're making moves, man. We're going to run curls. Try to go to Odell or Drake once again. We're going to go to Odell. Roby's going to back off. Odell's got the snag. We're down to the 47-yard line. Let's get this done. Come on. Brian Edwards might be the guy. Oh, Odell. Odell, come on. Dime. Good throw, Derek Carr. Honestly, could have led it a little further, but that is good enough. Odell makes the catch downfield, and we are uh, we're pushing the end zone already. We're looking good. Can we hit? Uh, no, not Darren Waller. Oh, oh, oh. I was clicking the button to throw it. Derek Carr does not throw it. That could be a costly mistake right there. We're going to have to figure something out right here. Kenyon Drake across the middle is going to be the move. We'll see, if, uh, we'll see if we have time to figure it out. We are. Kenyon Drake's wide open. Good block from Brian Edwards. Oh, Oh, Kenyon Drake jukes through him. I guess trucks through him. That said juke. It wasn't really a juke. We have got to get in the end zone here. 27 seconds left. The other scary part, too, though, is this sim is so buggy that that 27 seconds will be like two minutes in the game. Easy. Kenyon Drake. Oh, he's so close. We're going we're gonna to let it go. We're going to let it go. Please don't run too much time. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Come on. Come on. Kenyon Drake. Kenyon Drake. He gets in. Seven seconds left. That is the perfect amount of time to have left, too. But I think we play gutsy. I think we play gutsy here. I think we run slants, and I think we end this game just like this. Do we? We're going to run with Josh Jacobs. I'm feeling confident. Josh Jacobs has got this for us. What a play by Demario Davis in the hole. We had so much space, so much room to work. Jacobs couldn't fall forward for even a yard. All it took was one man, and he got stuffed. Come on. Be glitchy. We're going to lose like that. It was worth the risk. We had the gap. It just didn't work out. Let me know what you guys think is going to go down with all of this different drama that's been going on. It's some really, really heavy subjects. Um, I don't know. You hate to see this kind of stuff. You really do. Uh, but wishing the best for all these different people and teams involved. I hope they figure it out and it goes okay. Uh, I think the Raiders are going to be a good team. I think Odell is still a great player. I think they could work really well together. That's why I made this video. Let me know what you all think. Thank you for clicking on the video. I really do appreciate the support. Please drop a like, drop a sub. It means a ton to me. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.